guys, it's Michaela Clark here with Brave Fitness, and today I wanted to kind of give you a little insight into who I am and why I chose to become a beach body coach. So I've been thinking about this for a few days now, and I haven't been exactly sure where to start. Um, I'm not someone who's lost over 100 pounds, so I don't have this amazing weight loss story. Um, I'm not overcoming an illness. I have never really had an illness, so I don't really have anything like that. I'm just a stay-at-home mom who enjoys spending time with her kids, um, working out, and so I just thought I'd kind of give you a little insight into who I am. I know most of you know me pretty well, but you probably don't know everything about me, so this kind of will give you a little idea about who I am. Um, so to start with, I've always just been thin. Um, I've always just been skinny. I can remember people calling me skinny mini growing up and things like that, and so I was just naturally skinny. I've been involved in many activities, and once I got into junior high, about 7th and 8th grade, I started cheerleading and doing dance and just getting a little more active. Um, I probably was doing a little too much because I started having dizzy spells. So my mom drug me to the doctors and they told her that I was burning more calories than I was taking in. And so, um, and I didn't weigh enough for my height. So I was forced to increase my calorie intake and I remember thinking that was pretty scary because in junior high hormones are going on it's just a really rough time in your life you're trying to figure out who you are and I just didn't want to become fat. Um, I remember my mom threatening with me with um, taking away my activities if I didn't um, maintain a certain weight so we had a certain weight set and that's the way that I had to keep. So in the end that was enough motivation for me um, and I was able to continue with my activities. Uh, in high school, I was even more involved than I was in junior high. I loved to dance, I was in show choir, I was in drama, and I was on student council. I was just involved in a lot of things. Um, looking back now, I realize it didn't take a whole, it didn't take any effort for me to be thin. Uh, I've actually now learned that you actually have to put effort into staying fit and healthy. I was pretty fit because I was involved in dance and things like that, but I really never thought about it. Um, it's been a really hard concept for me to understand because it used to come easy. I could eat whatever I wanted, I could drink whatever I wanted, and it didn't really affect me. So after high school, um, I went to <laughs> a little bit of college. I actually went to one year. I didn't really accomplish a whole lot. Um, I remember really dreading gaining the fifth, freshman 15, and so I took two classes twice a week, um, a kickboxing and a dance class. I really enjoyed that and I had, really had a great time doing that. Um, on a side note, I do intend to return to college someday. I'm not exactly sure what it is that I want to pursue. I have about three or four different things that I want to do and I just really need to decide what it is I want to do. Um, so in 2010, in March of 2010, I got married and um, about six weeks after that, I found out we would be moving to Minot, North Dakota. Minot, I know. Uh, I had no idea where it was. I really didn't know. And everyone kept telling me it was freezing and I was just going to freeze. And that was about it. Nobody had anything positive to say. I can now say that I really do enjoy living here. It's, I've come to grow and love this place. And I think if we ever have to leave, I'll be pretty sad. Um, after about a few weeks before we moved to Minot, I found out we were having our first little baby. Um, so during my pregnancy, um, we moved a thousand miles away from our family. Uh, I was pretty homesick and my pregnancy hormones were getting the best of me. I'd love to say I was one of those cute fit girls at the gym working out every day, but no. <laughs> I slept all the time and I had no energy, partially I believe it's because I was so homesick and so I think they kind of went hand in hand. I was I was sad, I was pregnant, and I just slept a lot. Um, in February, I had our beautiful little girl, Adeline. Um, in 2011, I went through a lot of ups and downs. Uh, looking back now, I'm pretty sure I had a little touch of the baby blues. Um, I was so irritated with the way I looked and it was affecting how I felt on the inside. My husband was always really sweet and telling me how beautiful he thought I was, um, but it didn't change how I felt. And I remember just getting snappy almost at him because I knew he was being so nice and I was just so frustrated with myself. Um, 
Every, nobody prepares you, you know, for what you're gonna look like after you have a baby. I knew I wasn't gonna go right back to how I looked, but I didn't think I was gonna have as much flab as I did in places that I'd never seen that before. Um, 13 months after having our little girl, Adeline, I was pregnant again, and in December of 2012, I had our little boy, Tavish. So after I had him, I had a different outlook on how I wanted to go about things after having him. Um, I was bound and determined not to go down the same path I did after having Adeline. And so I got a membership to our YMCA and I started taking kickboxing classes in March. And I was really enjoying myself. I loved kickboxing, everything about it. But I was having a really hard time waking up at 4.30 in the morning and going to class because, I mean, Tavish, he was colicky and he had heartburn and he was allergic to milk and he just, I mean, Adeline was a breeze. She would just sleep through the night after six weeks and so Tavish was a little more difficult. I wasn't used to getting up all the time with him and so getting up at 4.30 to leave for kickboxing at 5 was really taking a toll on me and so my husband suggested go, taking, um, going and buying Insanity. I'd never really heard of Insanity and I wasn't exactly sure what it was about. So I said, all right, well, we can try it. So we ordered Insanity and after the first day, which is the fit test, I was hooked. Um, I was sweaty, I was exhausted, but I felt so good. It just felt really good to work hard. Um, I could, first, I couldn't keep up, um, but I pushed through and I loved the end result of how I felt every day. So after a few I think it was only a month I got injured because I think I was doing a little too much. I was doing kickboxing and insanity. And so my feet were hurting and I just, I ended up going to a doctor to see that and they gave me some medicine. He basically said, you need to choose one or the other. So instead of choosing one or the other, I kind of fell off the path. Um, summer was here and we were boating every weekend and we were, you know, when it's hot outside, you just want an ice cold pop. And so I kind of fell off the way, but by the end of summer, my husband and I both decided that we were just ready to get back at it. We loved how we felt while we were working out. So we started back at day one in September. Um, I've currently finished the whole Insanity program. I've lost nine to 10 inches. Um, and now I've moved on to Focus T25 and I absolutely love it. Um, I, I really enjoy the, how fast paced it is um, and it's just something I really enjoy. So taking the time to work out no matter how hard it is, I'm a stay at home mom so I know how difficult it can be. Um, I don't work out of the home but even just with my daily routines it's really hard to find time to work out. It's definitely worth the reward. So. I had a really hard time thinking that I was being selfish. I th felt like um, every second of every day had to be dedicated to my family, and it does, but I do need to take time for myself, and I was really worried that I was being selfish. But I also read somewhere that how can you expect to take care of everybody else when you don't even take care of yourself? So you need to focus on you. So oftentimes, I have a hard time remembering this, but I also know that my family does hundred times better when I take care of me. Um, what is the quote off of Legally Blonde? Exercising gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't shoot their husbands. They just don't. It's so true. Like, I would never shoot my husband, just a side note. But I am so much happier when I work out. I just feel better about my day. It just makes my day so much better. It starts me off on the right foot. Um, I want to be around my children and my family as long as possible and I know that by taking my care of myself that I can do that. I became a beach body coach because I see people helping other people and they're seeing results in what they're doing and they're going to be around their families for much longer because of the things that they've done and I want to help somebody get that success. I have a coach who pushes and motivates me and helps me in any way that she can so that I can be better and I want to help you become better. Um, if that's something that you want to do, I hope one day that you will come to me and that I can help you on a journey. Um, if you have any questions for me, please comment or message below. Um, I'm going to try and be an open book. I want you to know about me and I want to share with you about me. So I want you to get to know me as best as you can. And I look forward to working with you. Have a great day.